What's up everybody? This video is going to talk about all about them nasty little milk spots. Yeah, that's a bad word. It's it's almost like a cuss word in the silver world. Um, milk spots. Everybody hates them. Nobody likes to see when their silver gets these uh, little milky spots on them. So we're going to talk about what do we believe usually causes them? Um, how do they get them? What coins are prone to getting milk spots and um what what and what can we do to prevent them so let's cover these topics um first off what causes milk spots well i, I think it's believed that what causes milk spots is the cleaning process that the mint uses um, on the planchets the chemicals they use uh probably leaves you know some residue um, that is usually not found until the milk spots appear uh, probably, you know, a couple of months down the road to a year or so. Um, what coins usually get milk spots? Well, any silver can milk spot. Um, but the ones that usually milk spot the most is going to be from a couple of different mints. And that is the Royal Canadian Mint and the Royal Mint. Um, those are the two that usually milk spot the most. Um, but um, some of the other coins that are that tend to milk spot are these um, Somalian elephants. This here is the uh, two ounce. Uh, there's some scratches on this capsule, but as far as milk spotting. Um, I haven't seen any milk spotting on this one yet. This one here is at 2000 and I believe 17. Yep, 2017. Um, I don't have any Canadian maple leaves in front of me right now. But uh, this here is a reverse proof. And these reverse proof Canadian maple leaves, which is from the Royal Mint, uh, tend to milk spot less because of the frosting that they have on there. But I have had... Uh, reverse proof um, Canadian maple leaves that has milk spotted now on the Queen's face you see some scratches on the capsule I don't believe this has any milk spots on it um, but Canadian maple leaves are from the Royal Mint and anything prior to 2018 um, was very heavily uh, milk spotted um, usually because of their cleaning process now, the 2018 um, Canadian Maple Leafs, they were supposed to have found a, a process to slow down or prevent the uh, milk spotting. Um, and I forget what that term was. I had a video on it and uh, Salivate Metal did a video on it. But um, I have some 2018 Incus uh, Maple Leafs, which I don't have with me right now. But uh, I bought those a few months ago, and uh, as of yet, I have not seen any milk spots on those uh, yet. Um, but I will uh, look up what that what that uh, term was called that the uh, Royal Canadian Mint uh, used, and I will put it at the end of this video because uh, while shooting this video right now, I just don't remember. Um, this here is a... A Chinese panda from uh, 2009 and um, this one here was graded a uh, 16 69 I believe it was I yeah, MS 69 and um, as you can see this one here milk spotted in the uh, slab so even graded coins which is why I'm not a big fan of graded coins um, your modern-day graded uh, bullion coins because they can milk spot inside these capsules and I did a whole video on this coin uh, probably a year and a half ago or so um, but uh, that's why I don't like buying slabbed coins um, and even though Chinese pandas aren't usually known for the milk spotting um, it just goes to show you that any silver coin can uh, can milk spot um, and this here is a generic round and there is it looks like there's some milk spotting starting to happen on some of these here so it's not just your coins that milk spot but also your uh, bullion uh, rounds and bars 
also can milk spot. Um, so the coins that are most prone to milk spotting are from the Royal Mint, um, which could be your Queen's Beast. And I do have Queen's Beast, but I don't have them with me right now. And I do have some Queen's Beast that are milk spotted. Um, the Lion is milk spotted, um, but I don't have them with me right now. Most of my silver I do not keep in the house, so unfortunately I had to pull out what I had uh, on me, which is not much. So uh, your Royal Canadian Mint Coins, um, which is your Queen's Bee series and, and others from the Royal Mint. Um, the Royal Canadian Mint, your Maple Leafs, um, more so prior to 2017. Your 2018s are remain to be seen if they actually fixed that problem or not um so what what is what coins don't milk spot or what is less likely to milk spot your more higher premium coins such as your uh, perth mint coins um i haven't seen any of my perth mint coins milk spot i'm not saying that they can't or won't but um i have not seen many or if any uh, Perth Mint coins that I've owned uh, Milk Spot mainly because um, the Perth Mint has a better uh, quality control um, and uh, th they're just much better uh, made, uh, minted, and uh, better quality. Um, and uh, so Perth Mint is really good. Now, as far as Silver Eagles go, your Bullion Silver Eagles, those also, I have seen some Silver Eagles milk, milk spot, as, but they don't milk spot as much um, as other coins, such as your uh, Maple Leaf prior to, um, to 2018. Um, but, uh, but your Silver Eagles can and, and you know sometimes will milk spot, um, although just not as much. But, I mean, American Silver Eagles are a bullion coin, so... Um, I tend to like to pay as little as possible for my silver American Eagles, such as uh, from like Provident Metals um, in the random year, which comes from other people who they buy from. Um, so those are the type of American Silver Eagles that I like to buy. But as far as milk spotting goes, any silver can milk spot, but the ones that are less likely are your higher end uh, premium coins, such as Perth Mint. Um, Lunar Series coins, kookaburras, um, and uh, koalas. Um, now, the Perth Mint does do uh, some lower-end uh, coins um, that that do milk spot, such as um, the kangaroos. Um, the Perth Mint kangaroos are sort of their... Um, is kind of their coins, such as like the... Um, the uh, Silver American Eagle, the the Perth Mint Kangaroo is their Silver American Eagle. Um, so those do milk spot. Those are a little less uh, uh, pricey. They're a little bit of a lower end type bullion coin for the Perth Mint, and um, those do milk spot. But I mean bars, bars, and um, rounds can uh, milk spot, and uh, but. Some is less likely than others, so hopefully, hopefully this video has helped. Um, I am going to now uh, end this part of the video, but I'm going to let you know in a second what that Royal Canadian Mint new process. Oh, it's called Mint Shield. You know what? I don't even have to look it up. The um, Royal Canadian Mint has a new process called it's called Mint Shield, and that Mint Shield you can look it up. There's a lot of videos on it. I did a video on it. Solivate Metal did a really good video on it, but it's called Mint Shield, and that is supposed to have been, that was new in 2018, and it's supposed to um, either slow down the process or prevent milk spotting on uh, Royal Canadian Mint coins, um, such as the, um, the, uh, uh, silver, uh, the Silver Maple Leaf uh, for the Royal Canadian Mint. So... I don't know. I have uh, four or five uh, 2018 Maple Leafs, and um, I haven't seen any milk spots on them. Not saying they won't, 
but it's going to be very interesting to see if they do or if they actually fix this problem. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, listening. Hopefully this video has helped. Um, if you have any questions, please post them down in the uh, comment section below. Um, let me know what you think of the video. And thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.